This $50 HDMI cable matters docking station gives 4K 60 Hertz variable refresh rate. That's really great for games that are like between 30 and 60 FPS, AAA games. Nobody's really talking about it. Um, to get it working, you have to set the refresh rate to 59.94 Hertz. Um, it doesn't work above that, but I mean, you know, for most AAA games, you don't really need to go above 60 Hertz if you're playing on like a mobile device. Um, and then also, this is really important. Go to AMD, and you need to make absolutely sure the color depth is 810 sometimes works, and the pixel format has to be that YCBR422, uh, um, otherwise it won't work. And then of course you probably will need to restart the TV, restart the Ally, um, it normally doesn't work reliably right away, you have to change some things, restart some stuff, but eventually it will kick on, um, and I have proof of it working in a game. Here's proof of it working in an actual game. It's plugged in, but it doesn't need to be plugged in for it to work. Um, and again, just to prove it's the ally, here's the armory. Um, so on the LG C2 TV remote, you can hit this button. Let's actually try to move that. There we go, that's better. So you can actually see the refresh rate changing as I play. Um, and again, I'm gonna play one-handed, so it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Don't critique the gameplay too much. But as you can see, it's floating between 40 and 60 hertz. Let's just dodge. Yeah! And here is more proof with a different television. See, there's free sync.